Okay, hello guys and welcome back to the next part of the character modeling tutorial and uh, this part will be fairly short, that's the plan. Um, we just want to finish off this last part of the hand uh, to leave us nothing but head, hands and feet, um, which are in my opinion the most difficult parts. We'll probably start with the head, it's just a matter of motivation, what you like to do and I'm kind of tired of hands and I've actually never really modeled feet so I guess I'll do that next time in my next big session at the beginning because that's when I'm more motivated to do these kind of things and have normally more success. So uh, to begin with the arms we're going to do that very similar to what we did with the legs so just add a circle uh, as a new object of course with eight vertices again um, in edit mode. What, what, well, first of all, make sure to center it. So Alt G will center it for you. Um, make sure in edit mode to move it away from the center as well. Uh, we don't need proportional editing, by the way. And then mirror it. Um, also, activating that will enable you to see it uh, if you like that. So position it properly to where it belongs something like that should do and then also from the side view now again the workflow that I use is to start by extruding it to the very end of the hand or leg or whatever we are making then adjust it from the side view uh, I really like it and also you'll need to recalculate the normals with control N um, that can happen often with extrusions and what you do now is again loop cuts, control R, uh, move them to wherever it's needed, and keep in mind at this point again that this is a drawn reference, it's not perfect. So I have the feeling, for example, that these arms are kind of too thin, but maybe they're alright. So don't rely too much on that. So basically, I'm just creating a couple of loops and adjusting them. Um, yeah, so you see we are a bit thicker than the reference, but I think looking at it from the 3D view, it looks good. Now we, we could add here some details, but the problem is that it's not connected yet to Spartan, and, and the connection is exactly on the, on the elbow, so we have kind of difficult times doing that without having problems later on connecting those, so actually no details this time. Um, that's something for later. I'm just going to scale a few things along Y because we haven't done that so much yet. Uh, but that looks good. Um, so what's left is the hands obviously and and then the feet, and then the head, or whichever the direction is that we're going to work with. So let's spend a few minutes on analyzing a little bit here. Um, we'll, this is just um, for uh, preparing for the next part. Uh, so this point is every, everything is fine so far. I'm saving uh, at this point. Um, what I'm going to do now is check a few things about the reference. So what you can do to see whether it's aligned or not is to use the grease pencil. So you just hold down D and then you draw with your mouse the line. Uh, I didn't press D 32 times just so you know. <laughs> so you see we're quite off from uh, the center, uh, from from the, the actual height. Um, which is not a big problem. I mean, it's a reference that was drawn by hand without checking for alignment. So what do you expect? That's, again, the thing. Um, but luckily, we have a few ways to make things easier. And that's what we're going to do now. So I'm marking myself the position of different features of the face. So this is the nose, this is the mouth, and that's the eyes from the front view. And since I said I would rely on the front view more than any 
other. Um, we'll adjust the side view to that. And obviously the side view is a bit too high. So I'll go down to background images here and select this lower one. Uh, I don't want to, man uh, to change it though. I'll add a new image and just copy the values here. So select this value and after selecting here the image, paste it in here. So now we have the same reference, just uh, a second one. So we can manipulate this one and we'll still have our old um, values. I'm just going to move it down and you see it fits almost perfectly. So the head stops about here, the chin is here, the mouth is here, the nose is here and the eyes are good. So looks like everything is set up for next part or I want to start to model the head. Um, it will probably take more than just a part. I'll, I'll do my best to make it detail, as much detail as possible and teach you well about it. Uh, so we can delete the responsive layer over here. Um, we don't need it anymore. Uh, I guess that's all for this part. Um, finished up everything important. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. See you next time. Have a good day.